So, oh, now we have a lot of questions for Marina. Yeah. Now we have a lot of questions for you. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Give me one second because. Okay. The, yeah, my first question would, to you would be like, do you need a license to sell uh, real estate in Italy? Yes, of course, <clears throat> because in Italy it's not allowed to work without the license. The license is very, very important. So um, I, uh, I write the process, it's a, it's a short process that you um, can read uh, for see what uh, uh, type of uh, pass you must to, to do for take the license. A uh, very important play, uh, point that uh, um, an agent can choose to become a member of professional real estate association, but it is not obligatory because in America um, you have another type of um, pass for uh, take the license and uh, in Italy it's a little bit different. And uh, second point, uh, it's very important when, when you um, uh, work with real, uh, with real estate agent in Italy uh, that all a uh, real estate agent is a broker. So um, when you have the number of the license, you're a broker. And um, unfortunately in Italy, many um, other person like attorney, like um, architecture uh, want to, to dealing with the real estate, but it's a, a, it's a forbidden. So uh, you must be very, um, um, pay attention for the number. It must be a realtor with the number of um, Chamber of Commerce. So all process I uh, described there. So if you need to see another time, you can see and record video. So if you if you have a light of, uh, of okay, you get a license. You are a broker. You said, and then. You don't need to work under uh, one of these uh, big franchises. Can you be independent? Yes, I can be independent. Exactly. Oh, that's very interesting. It's very yeah. I know it. Yeah, it's here we, we can't do that. We are here. We have to be under under a broker. Well, of course, on on unless we have a our broker's license, but. Um, uh, most of the agents work under a broker, so under a, a firm. Uh, uh, in Italy, it's very, it's a different, but um, in Italy we have another kind of problems. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can I go for second questions? I'm sorry. Can I go for second question? Yes, yes, yes. Go to the next one, please. Okay. Because I changed the slides. Okay. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, and this is regarding what we were talking before, right? Yes. So for Americans, it is important to know how is the buying process in Italy? Yes. The steps. Okay. Um, in Italy, um, we have a lot of kind of buyer process, but um, here it's easy one. So it's a process uh, right in the civil code. Uh, we have two steps. But here I um, write three steps. So um, you can uh, do formal offer of purchase and um, give a down payment about 10. Uh, the contract, a formal offer of purchase, it's uh, uh, when accepted by sellers become binding for both, like in America. So it can become to preliminary contract. So um, second step uh, can uh, can be deed of purchase. Can uh, not uh, it's not every uh, time you must to do prelim preliminary agreement for sale. Sometimes you need do. Sometimes you need no need. Um, here we have second phase uh, like preliminary agreement sales. Um, your co uh, this contract need when you have a lot of time uh, to wait for deed of purchase or you must uh, to take the mortgage or uh, maybe sell a uh, buyer uh, must to to sell the property so it's need for um, for timelining uh, usually uh, the first step is enough and, se and second step can be deed of purchase. Uh, very important in Italy, uh, the notary is, um, uh, is, is a very important figure that um, the notary checks all the documentation is regular. 
uh, it's not like uh, not very in America that America it's very easy so uh, uh, when you know that your documentation is irregular the deed is done uh, by the notary and the transfer of ownership contract and the part of the condominium is common so enough finish it there okay so uh, who keeps the money uh, no <laughs> So yeah, the, yeah, first yeah. Step, the first step, um, uh, it, it's a very different way because in America you have um, uh, under closer, you have uh, the, um, oh, I, I'm not remember, escrow time. Yeah, yeah so, the title company keeps the money. I mean, they, they have the money. The, the, yeah. they, in Italy, it could be or real estate agent keep the money or uh, when you um, do the formal offer of purchase you can give the money by owner and 90 persons it's uh, um, the own take the money uh, so it's a little bit different and i think we must to have another one big topic for talk about the buying process because it's uh, uh, very different from america it's not a common law it's a civil law and um, when you uh, close the deal, so when you have contract uh, accepted by seller, you must buy the fee for agent. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, and, and yes, as you said, it would be very interesting to have uh, one, you know, um, um, session with a buying process. The lady. And, and, you know, in America and in, in, in Italy. Yeah, yes, it's very different, I know, because uh, in America you have disclosure, uh, you, you have the face of disclosure, you have escrow, you, you can be um, uh, very um, easy for some steps. Yeah. Here it's very important uh, who are uh, to, to sell the property. So uh, very important to work with professionals. So, um, all steps for due diligence it must be uh, due for, uh, in advance of um, sell the property. Okay. So okay. how many days? How many days it takes from mm, from the time you get the contract to to the sale? So um, it depends. If the property it's <laughs> without the mortgage, yes, and has the regular, regular documents, the sale can be also conclu uh, concluded in 24 hours. Except the time necessary for notary, they make transcriptions in the, in the property conservatory. It's very fast. It, uh, but uh, if no problem, it's if no mortgage. Okay. That will be a cash, a cash, a cash transaction. Huh? That will be a cash transaction. Yes, yes, with cash transaction, but it's very important that you must to have due diligence, uh, due advance. Okay. So have all regular documents. So if you know exactly what you buy and you're not really uh, can tell you, okay, it's it's fine. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, my uh, yeah, my next question would be: What are the requirements for internationals? I mean, what do they need? Um, just uh, you need tax code, uh, codice fiscale, and a bank account in Italy. So you can um, choose your account, but it's more easy for uh, with account um, with bank account in Italy. Okay, so there is no restrictions to open a bank account uh, for um, international. Yeah. It, it's it's very particular because it's um, uh, you know what kind of nations where you from uh, why why you in Italy but um, for American it's no restriction so it's very easy I think it's like uh, when Italian can buy in America without restriction it's a reciprocus reciprocita reciprocity this world yes. <laughs> Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me move this. All right. So, yes. I needed to ask this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you see all over the buy a property for $1. <laughs> uh, it's a very excellent question. 
Um, it's impossible. Like one, one, one of those. <laughs> but but uh, but it's a very uh, particulated, so it's not so um, uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So the properties for sale um, throughout real estate auction the start of one euro. It's often destroyed and in some remote village that have problems with abundant house and the low population. It's a very important point because if you want to have uh, the um, a good company, uh, good food uh, and uh, nobody else uh, 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 outside it's very good uh, <laughs> decision but if you want some culture if you want to go out if you want to have some fun it's it's another uh, part of a decision so it will be I, basically like a ghost town a, a, a little bit yes exactly why uh, the cost so uh, just one dollar um, the final price of the property may vary a lot. In some cases, even reaching the marketplace. It's very important. So, in one's purchase, there is often an obligation to renovate the property in three years. And uh, the renovation can be very expensive and complicated due to the location of the property. Mm -hmm. Because is, okay. is it a ghost town? It's very uh, difficult to find something for renew. Okay. For, for housekeeping uh, I don't know if it's on my questions on the um, at the end but um, I think it is uh, I think we'll, we're gonna talk about the prices right at the end uh, wait 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 the taxes okay yeah um, taxes how, uh, how are the taxes over there um, the taxes is depend whether you are um, a president in Italy or not. I think it's, uh, uh, it's overworked in this mode. So for residents and owners of the first houses, houses because it's uh, uh, taxes for property, uh, for now uh, no taxes to pay, only the service for now. But we don't know after what will uh, do the government. So taxes um, depend always of type of property, and in the European statistic, Italy is the seventh place and less expensive than French, Germany, and England. So um, it's very convenient to buy in Italy because okay. the taxes is lowest that in America and in the many places. Okay, so um, you said here for residents, for residents, um, but as an international, and your first house. You don't pay any taxes, any property yes. taxes. Yes, if you have the residence and is 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 your first non-luxury house, you you not pay, you you have not charged the tax. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh. It's very interesting, but just one home. Yes, the first one. Yes, the first one. Okay. It must be no luxury. Okay. All right. No, well, that's 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 very interesting. I I think. Uh, not a lot of people know about this. I know it. That would be like a big thing, especially um, taxes are a little bit high here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. Uh, so the next one. The next one about home work association fee. Yes. Uh, so home born association is a little bit different uh, um, in Italy. Uh, because we um, the home own association it's like uh, uh, associations uh, um, of of kind I'm I'm not remember in English but when I remember I I, I will explain so in Italy um, uh, there is a condominium or consortium that is a co-owner um, of common parts in the building that have a specific regulation and deal with uh, housekeeping and uh, common parts of the property. So mm -hmm. it's very limited. So when you buy a house, you're automatically part of condominium and the cost varies according to the type of property. In condominium can be if you have the um, townhouse uh, or villa often uh, have neither condominium or no consortium and the owners take care of maintenance himself 
um, it's, it's just a limit to, uh, the condominium or consortium it's limited just for property no out of property okay okay right. very good very good very interesting <laughs> okay my my next question would be then yes um yeah the most desirable uh cities in in italy Uh, in Italy, its first place is Milan. <laughs> now it's yes, yes, <laughs> it's Milan. So um, in the statistic, I, um, I found Bologna, Florence, uh, Torino, Trieste, and after Roma. So it's a small cities, but very comfortable with uh, good uh, uh, lifestyle and uh, with good. Um, uh, all, all is very comfortable. I think you have the daughter in, at Milano, so you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my own research soon <laughs> until <laughs> this COVID nineteen finish. Let me go. Yes, very interesting, very interesting, and, and that would be something uh, uh, you know what we do when we want to buy a property overseas go to the internet but i think um everyone here in america uh it's important to contact uh, an agent and um, an international agent so mm -hmm. they have mm, the, the best advice on where how uh, you know all the all the things about uh, buying a property overseas um it, it's too difficult to give the best advice because uh, it's very different place for example for young people can uh, like milan for uh old young people can like uh cost um uh, amalfi cost um it, it's important first to understand uh, what kind of lifestyle want to have uh, the american in the italy so i think it's the first step and um, what kind of life you want to, to live in Italy. And uh, it's now important to, to see the statistics. It's important to understand the needs of the client. I think mm -hmm. it's uh, um, more important that all information that you can find in internet. Okay, correct. Okay, so um, going back to the, you know, uh, on, on your, um, previous questions and I, I mentioned the rental properties. So yes. um, now, um, how profitable are the rental properties over there? Now we have a little bit difficult <laughs> because now we are close. <laughs> so <laughs> hypothetically. Yes, yes, temporarily. Yes, hypothetically. <laughs> so hypothetically, um, the Milan is um, very profitable. So, but it uh, depends uh, what kind of property you, you want to buy uh, because it's um, a huge difference to residential property or commercial property. Okay, uh, if you, uh, we, want, we, uh, we need to separate topic for speak about renting. It's, oh. it's very complicated. Okay. So, um, in the statistic I found this date and uh, I can confirm that uh, in the um, market huh? this this uh, no, somebody speak. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. So, um, early rent gross annuity is around 3 and 5 and up to 9%. But it depends on type of the property, area, income taxes and property taxes and the necessary man, uh, maintenance are paid. For example, a private individual for residential rental in Italy can pay a fixed uh, uh, tax equal to uh, 20 21 percent percent of the income received from the rent while the income from the commercial property has taxation based on the other factors so um, the rental could be uh, very interesting and profitable but you must to know how you want to uh, uh, to, to do the uh, all operation okay okay oh. thank you very much very very interesting so 
Oh, 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 commission. No, yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, it's an interesting, <laughs> interesting topic. We're going to speak about uh, numbers, but uh, it's very important. It's I think for um, uh, when uh, someone want to buy in Italy, um, must understand the process because it's very uh, different the process, um, non non like in America. So, in the uh, as in USA, uh, the uh, real estate agents. Um, Commissions depend on agreements made with clients. So, uh -huh. in Italy, the commissions are paid both the seller and the buyer. So, it's split commissions. Okay. That part what? of so split commissions when you buy or when you when sell? You buy, you pay the commissions and you cannot choose your buyer agent. You cannot choose? No. If you choose your buyer agents, you must to pay fee for agent who have uh, the property seller and oh. addiction fee for the work of a buyer, uh, buyer agent because uh, many times real estate agents don't charge the seller but make the buyer pay for everything oh wow pay attention okay so Okay, so um, I have a property in Italy. I want to sell the property in Italy. Yeah. <laughs> I, me seller, I pick the agent, correct? Yes, you pay the agents. It's in normally you pay the agents, and agents take the money for the buyers. From the buyer. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Hold on, I'm, I'm confused. It's a little bit complicated. So <laughs> uh, it's, just, it's very important because when you want to found the collaboration with the, um, Italian real, uh, real estate agents, you must to ask uh, what kind of fee we can, um, we can charge. Because if you have the buyer that don't pay you, you can be without money. Okay, but the buyer pays the commission. The buyer always pay the commissions. Always Sometimes, pay. in some case, someone to begin uh, the, uh, change uh, their commercial approach. But uh, usually, in Italy, uh, buyers pay and buyers pay uh, more money than sellers. Of course, it depends on kind of um, market. Because if we are in the seller's market, Many times, a uh, real estate agent uh, can uh, give you just do, don't pay the commissions for the sellers because mm -hmm. it's uh, a lot of buyers and all buyers will pay um, a <laughs> low, not low, high commissions for both. Okay. Okay. No, talk about commissions here. So, but <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little bit um, yeah for pay attention. Yeah. No, but, but very, very interesting. I mean, it's the, yeah, very different from, from the United States. Yes, it, it, I think it's a um, huge difference uh, for, um, for, uh, for American buyers because uh, buyers uh, to accept that um, you can find your buyer agent, but uh, in Italy it's very difficult to find a property finder. Yes? Okay. Is it important? Okay. Because many times, uh, property founder uh, must take the um, um, commi addiction commission, and uh, no one to pay the addiction commission um, because it's very difficult to uh, collaboration with the other agent. So okay. if you like the property, but you don't like the agent, you must pay the agent. Okay, we must pay the agent. And here in the United States, we don't pay the agent. As a, as a buyer, we as, as a buyer we don't pay the agent. It's um, and they represent us, but we don't pay for anything. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I know it. In in Italy, it's very important for if you want to project to to buy the house, you must know what uh, outcome you can have, and it's very important voice. Okay, very interesting. Okay, so. Uh, Average yes. price, uh, today we speak about uh, Milan. Yeah, so, the average price. So yeah. we, don't have the, we, we, we don't, cannot count on the one dollar, one euro properties. So what's the, an, an average price? Yes. 
Uh, yes, so uh, average price in Milan is very uh, different. So you can find the property is um, uh, 1,300 euros for the um, square meter and uh, you can find the property a uh, very, very, very high level um, near the dome, for example, uh, up to uh, 40,300 uh, 40, for square meter. So the Milan market is market of sellers with a huge demand and uh, great growth. So today it's uh, uh, it's most important market in the Italy. Okay, very good. Very good, I, I think so. So what's the average, average um, square footage uh, on a small house? Uh, it, like a, a small house, okay, or um, I mean an apartment, it's, 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 uh, it's small, but an average of size in a small house. Ah, small house. Um, small house. It's uh, near of fifty um, square meters. Okay. So fifty. It's it's it could be thirty. It's minimum for for Italy. Thirty it's minimum uh, for for the law and uh, fifty. So it's like mono locale, bi locale. It's like that uh, that measure measure. Okay, square meter. Okay. Fifty square meter. Fifty. Okay. <laughs> that would be what a one bedroom home. Huh? That would be like a one bedroom. Yes, yes. Um, the type of property is little be. Uh, Different uh, that in, uh, in America, it uh, could, could be uh, smaller, very smaller. So when you have just uh, one bedroom, uh, one small bed, and uh, um, ever you can find the bedroom with kitchen as it's open space. So, um, so you said five fifty fifty square meter times yep. what uh, thirteen hundred. So that would be sixty five thousand. Uh, it's it's too complicated to found it because it's it's, um, huh? it's it's complicated to find that price exactly because now um, the market is uh, great growth very fast okay sometimes when uh, you go to local market uh, the property uh, go away in one day with three or five buyers so what's the what's the price the the lowest price that uh, you can realistically find in Milan, for example? Yeah, um, it's it's difficult uh, to uh, to have the average price because um, the quarter and uh, the locations it's more different. So um, you can change the the street and there you have another prices. So it's a, it's a very smaller, uh, it's a very particular market because Italy is a small. So like Rome, you can uh, change the um, uh, the area and uh, there is change everything. So Milan is uh, a very small. It's impossible to give you a correct average price because it's impossible. You must know the place. You okay. must know the zona. Okay. So I think we are done with our questions, right? Yes. Okay, so we can ask if somebody wants to, to have the, the questions. Okay, we have some questions. Okay. Uh, the sounds, okay. Okay, it's a um, it's question from Italy. Um, I read in, the, in Italian and after I came to, to <laughs> To explain in English. So, uh, buonasera, la mia domanda uh, è americano quando decide di acquistare un immobile in Italia si orienta su soluzioni da ristrutturare o preferisce immobili pronti per essere abitati? Preferiscono alloggiare i dati o le aridare? Oh, it's very interesting question because um, uh, one lady asked me if the Americans prefer to uh, buy the house with furniture or without furniture. It's um, if you need to, to do the mountains or without mountains. 
Okay, furnish or unfurnish, and what else? Um, if uh, if it's for uh, you must do the mountains housekeeping. So if it's a ready house, uh -huh. or you must do something personalization. For example, uh, that's like a one dollar houses. Well, I think the problem with those uh, with that would be that we don't know where to go, who to call. You know, um, uh, here, for example, in America, um, is very rare that someone buys a house furnished uh, because you have your own furniture. Um, talking about overseas, mm -hmm. it may it may work. It may work if it's furnished. Um, I think in your market, in your market, is it restructurated? Uh, is it a furnishing in your market? Here is uh, most of the houses are not furnished. Not furnished? Is it for uh, with restructuration or without restructuration? What is? Uh, I don't understand the restructuration. Um, a destroyed house or beautiful house? Ah, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Ready, ready. Yes. And um, destroyed homes. Um, the destroyed homes here. He, the, of course, they have to pay cash because there's no financing to okay. buy them. And uh, most of these houses are investors who buy them. Okay. So they buy these houses, they remodel the homes, and they they sell them. So that that's what they do here. But um, if someone wants to buy a house to live, most of the times, and um, they buy they buy it ready and without furniture. That's that's the majority. Is okay. is um, actually when. Um, when we have a house that is furnished, it's a, a little, it takes a little bit longer to sell. Okay. Here. Okay. Ali, yes. Okay. E, uh, la risposta è la seguente. Mm, ci sono varie tipologie di acquirenti. Uh, ovviamente uh, la maggioranza preferisce già avere una casa ristrutturata, anche perché sarebbe un pochino più complicato di gestire la ristrutturazione. Quelle che poi è importante, perché poi sul mercato con quale lavorano ora, per esempio uh, le case si vedono non arredate, ma quindi le arredano in base dei propri uh, necessità. Mentre, uh, per esempio, la tipologia di investitori possono anche prendere la casa da ristrutturare, perché magari loro sono intenzionati di fare i lavori e poi rimetterlo sul mercato. Quindi non esiste una risposta corretta, ma in base di che tipologie di clienti um, arrivano per acquistare, un po' come in Italia. Allora, the next question, ok. Um, is it important for American investor to have a correct a lawyer in Italy? A lawyer? Uh, is it important for American investors to have a correct lawyer in Italy? Well, I think it is. I mean, in, yeah. <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and also, you know, it, it, it would be, it, it is very important to know um, how are you going to buy, for example, uh, if you have to, if you need to have a trust, if you need to, if you can buy as, um, you know, in, as individual, and if you have a, if you need to have a company, I mean, those structures uh, are important and how, how is the best way to, to buy a property over there? Um, here, for example, for internationals, we advise them to to create a trust um, mm -hmm. or an LLC, a company, uh, and, and you know there's several things implicated in 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 the buying process. So mm -hmm. I think the same the same thing would be with with Italy. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. I, I think that you explained very good. So uh, I think we are finished with uh, questions and uh, we can uh, finish our meeting. So oh, it was it was great and I have a hold on because I asked my daughter <laughs> to tell me how to say in Italian. Uh. Okay. So, si avete qualche domande per me, chiedete mi pure su Facebook o email. Sono a sua disposizione. <laughs> Great.
<laughs> so I started a little bit of Italian years ago, but <laughs> I think yes. it's beautiful. So I uh, will be meeting you in uh, in Milan. So it it was very great uh, time to to pass together and. Um, uh, we will wait for the next question. If uh, someone to want to repeat our uh, our meeting, uh, we can uh, yes. give some uh, yes. some answers. And of course, uh, any questions you have uh, um, in the buying process in the United States? I'm in San Antonio, and yep. or anywhere in the United States, we can always refer an agent. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're here here to help. Contact me. Okay. Thank you very much, Marina. Thank you very much, Nora. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>